Man them. We're going to have a little talk today. Man them. If you've ever heard your ex-girlfriend say, I think we should just remain friends. Man them. If you've ever heard your ex-girlfriend say, it's not you, it's me. Here's why. So I caught the tail end of a conversation between my girl and some guy, yeah? And all I heard the guy say was, my ex-partner and I both agreed that it was best we bought our own separate properties and went our separate ways, but we remained friends for the sake of the children. So we will alternate weekends in terms of looking after the children. I will have them one weekend, she will have them the next and keep alternating on that. And as soon as I heard that, I'm thinking, what do you mean we? That decision there was all on her. You just went along with it, rude boy. Let me explain something to you lot right now. If your ex-girlfriend wanted to just be friends with you, don't think it's because of this. Because It's because she's lost attraction for you. Women do not want to be friends with men they are highly attracted to. You can just see it right now. Look online, maybe go on the shade bar about two weeks ago. You will see pictures of girls getting grabbed up by Chris Brown. They fucking paid Chris Brown about 1100 or something like that to grab up on them. Do you think if they had the opportunity to take it further with Chris Brown, don't you think they would have done it? Do you think if Chris Brown friend zoned them, they would rather not be in the friend zone? Do you think they would rather be in the girlfriend zone? You damn fucking right. Girls don't want to be friends with a guy they are highly attracted to. Now, me personally, yeah, in my life, I might have had like two girls try and friend zone me. And when that happens, man, get ghost. So I was never actually friend zone. I just, I get ghost and that. But anyway, there was one girl before, I wrote about this in my book. Um, obviously, I had a girlfriend at the time, but man was still trying to <laughs> hook up with we our we next thing for my taekwondo club. And when the girl from my taekwondo club clocked, like she was like, nah, she got out of there, innit? So anyway, boom, fast forward years later, I ain't got no girlfriend now. And the girl from my taekwondo club, I don't know, I didn't see her for a few years, she come back. So man didn't even try and push up on it or not. I didn't even try and make a move or nothing like that. But me and her was cool. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, we used to, I used to go and pick her up in Tottenham and then we used to go and drive to, like, central London to go taekwondo and that. So we were just on a friend's thing, really, and that. Cut the long story short, we ended up hooking up. Do you know why? Because although we were friends, she was still highly attracted to me. So I was able to migrate. And I'm, I can't even call it the friend zone. Like, she didn't friend zone me. I didn't friend zone her. We were just cool because, we'll see. We live in neighbouring areas and that and we'll have to travel to central London and that. So I was just going to pick her up because I had to go that way past the house anyway. So when a girl is highly attracted to you, you are not in the friend zone. You're in the waiting zone, yeah? In terms of like, she's waiting for you to make a move on her. Them girls there that are getting grabbed up and pieced up by Chris Brown, they're in the waiting zone. They're waiting to get graduated and that. And funny enough, there's chicks that I've kind of friend zone because they're not all that, yeah? So anyway, th this has happened twice, yeah? I've had two girls, yeah, that, like, you get me? I'm not rating them like that, yeah? So we're just friends and that. And these times, man's single, yeah? But then, funny enough, when a new girl came in the picture, they got ghost. Two of them. One of them, I told them, like, yeah, I'm going to start seeing my ex, oh, well, well, one thing from the past and that. She got goals. I didn't even clock because we weren't, we didn't contact each other like that. We, we might speak like once a month and that. But then I clocked like two years later, like, rah, I ain't spoke to that girl for two years. And it was since that day, um, the uh, thing from the past phoned me when I was with that chick. So I was with this female friend and then a the thing from the past phoned me who I was actively talking to and that. And she was like, oh, who's that? And like, oh, this girl that I'm probably going to start seeing again or whatever, really. It was only two years later I clocked, like, right, I ain't seen my girl for two years. And I clocked. The reason why is because the new girl came in the picture. And next time, again, an, uh, a kind of a girl from the past come back in the picture and that. I told one female friend, that obviously was my current female friend. I told her, yo, uh, um, I might be going out on a date with one girl from the, par uh, from the past or whatever, innit? Yeah. Um, I remember she sent me one text. Sometimes reality is too hard to handle. I was like, what the fuck does that mean? Next thing I know, like, I clocked like a year later. Right, I ain't spoke to this girl for a year, you know? So, when girls are highly attracted to you, they don't put you in a friend zone. 
Yeah. If anything, if you ain't made a move on them, they're in the waiting zone. So, man, them, if your ex girlfriend's ever said to you, I think it's best that we remain friends, or it's not you, it's me, it's because she's lost attraction to you. It's because she lost attraction to you. As soon as I heard my man say that, I was like, that's a loss of attraction right then and there. If a girl thinks you're a 10 out of 10, she don't just want to be friends with you. She don't. She don't, man. So don't don't let your, your missus lose attraction to you, man. 